Chair. I would like to express my uh, grave concerns about a proposal with an incredible increase in taxes to the residents of Connecticut. Uh, increasing taxes doesn't fix budget deficits. Uh, instead, what it does is slow our economy. And if we just look at what's happened in Michigan in the last year, Governor Granholm facing a nearly $2 billion budget deficit pushed through tax increases, including one that raised the state's income tax rate from 3.9 to 4.35 percent. Today, Michigan has the highest unemployment rate in the country at 10.6 percent. And they've lost 13 percent of their job base since 2005. Connecticut lost 63,000 jobs since January of this year, and increasing taxes is really the wrong direction to recover from this recession. As far as the, uh, the sin taxes that are, that are an easy target, uh, in Maryland, uh, their legislature last year passed a dollar cigarette tax hike, uh, and they considered it to be a reliable source of revenue for the state. But in fact, it produced less than half of what was proposed, anticipated, and now that's created further budget <coughs> deficits in Maryland. And let's look at California as an example. Uh, in California, in 2003, they faced a $14 billion deficit. And a major cause of this was migration out of the state. In fact, out of the 25,000 or so seven-figure family incomes, 5,000, 20% of them left the state in the early 2000s. And the loss of their payments accounted, their tax payments accounted for almost half of the budget hole in 2003. So we can learn from previous recessions of what actions being proposed today will do this to the state of Connecticut. And I submit to you that this is clearly the wrong road to go. Uh, this proposal to increase the death tax to 21 percent means migration out of Connecticut. The easiest way to prove that we're losing residents is the loss of one of our seats in Congress. And if you look at where the seats in Congress are being added, it is in locations, in states, without burdensome taxes. It's clear. It's very clear. Uh, we're losing our poll in the, in the Northeast because we are burdening residents with taxes. And so I submit to you, please, reconsider a dramatic increase in taxes, a dramatic increase in borrowing money to sustain current expenses. Borrowing money for capital expenditures is a good idea. Those are long-term expenditures. Those are long-term capital needs. But borrowing a billion dollars or more to handle ongoing expenses is not a good idea. I think what we're doing with this proposal is just kicking the can down the road. That's all we're doing. And in 2012, we have another cliff that we're going to be looking at. And I submit to you today that this is the wrong way to go. Please reject this proposal. Thank you.